<laughs> hey, hey, everybody, guess what? 2020. It's a brand new year. Mm-hmm. We've got a bunch of new plans, a new kind of theme, uh-huh. some updates, some information. <laughs> oh, man. Stick around. <laughs> You'll hear all about it. So, you may notice, what is this about? Our upcoming training schedule is all about the wine. So, we are just about to register for the Wine and Dine Half Marathon at uh, Disney World in our November. First, it's our, our first, first Wine and Dine. dine. Yeah. Um, so, that's on the horizon. We also have... Uh, committed to running with our niece and her first 5K, which is a wine run. Totally awesome. We're so excited. So, with those two things. So, that one's in May. The Wine and Dine is in November. We figured, you know, maybe we should just focus on wine. Yep. <laughs> For this, you know, next like six months or so. Yeah, right. So, <laughs> so when you follow us, You'll see our accomplishment stickers. Mm -hmm. Our new Mm -hmm. chart is all about wine. Right. So I made our new training chart. Uh, It's very wine colored. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Reds and purples. Right. (laughs) (laughs) Um, And I I got us some little uh, wine stickers to give our little progress to. Perfect. So, okay. This is a 38 week training plan. 38 weeks? Which is pretty silly (laughs) for a half marathon. We just ran a marathon. 26.2 miles. We don't necessarily need 38 weeks to train for a half marathon. Oh, oh. if you want to see anything about that uh, 26.2 marathon, we'll put a link up here. It was wonderful and awful. It was. But mostly wonderful. Yeah. But also awful. Totally. So, um, okay, so here's what happened. We planned that trip. So the the marathon was in January. We planned that trip in February of last year. Yeah. So we booked our, you know, we're DVC people. So we had to like book our hotel 11 months in advance, which we did. Mm -hmm. And then we signed up for the race by the time we ran the uh, Star Wars half marathon. So, you know, we we were working towards Star Wars. And then as soon as it finished, we started training for the full marathon and we went, like, that's basically a year of training, yeah, yeah. right? A year of working towards very specific goals. And then we ran our marathon, and we finished it. And then we got home, and we're like, what the heck are we supposed to be doing now? Yeah. Well, I was kind of, I, I don't know if you would describe it the same way, but I felt like I was just kind of adrift. Yeah. Like, what am, what am I supposed to be doing yeah, because I'm not training Because for this? every Saturday, we were running. Every and it's single like, Saturday. What are we going to do now? And I missed it. I really yeah. did miss it. Yeah. So... We've made a new training schedule, and yes, it's 38 weeks long, and it's ending with the wine and dine half marathon, but it's mostly a way for us to just, like, keep running. Right. And we're so psyched about running the uh, with our niece. Uh, we're so excited about setting up uh, runs. You'll see them on our chart. Um, but that also brought up some um, uh, necessities. Mm-hmm. So, uh, background. If you followed our videos, you noticed that uh, we went for some fitting mm-hmm. on some shoes. Mm-hmm. I'll put a link up here. Millie, stop it. Oh, Millie, our what coach is messing around. What are you doing, Pat? I'll put a link up here. Uh, fitted for some shoes. I had been fitted for my shoes mm-hmm. before our half marathon, our rival yep. run half marathon. Yep. They were great shoes, awesome mm-hmm. shoes, lightweight. Super lightweight, yeah, I mean, sleek. Really, really nice. Yeah. Uh, but... On some of our videos, I started complaining about uh, the way my feet were feeling. Mm-hmm. After the marathon, my feet were so beat up. Not only were they beat up, mm-hmm. uh, runner to runner, I'm losing some toenails. Uh, 
they were kind of numb in certain places. Yeah. So I went to a new local store, awesome store, and they fitted me mm-hmm. by placing me on a 3D. They did a scan. Yeah, it was a 3D like, scan. Take a look at this. Yeah. You'll and notice, those are is, my feet. This is what David's feet look like. Well, I mean, I have some color. <laughs> <laughs> but the shape, I'm yeah. like, hey, that's, those are David's feet. So they did this 3D imagery. Look at this. This is awesome. And what they determined was, <laughs> my shoes were too small. Yeah. My shoes were too small. Yeah. They were already half size up. Yeah. Like the usual yeah. runner half size, half size up from what you normally wear. But they weren't enough. No, they weren't. Especially for a marathon, a full marathon. So we have said this before. Listen to your body. Mm-hmm. My body was telling me things I wasn't really understanding. My toes would kind of uh, curl up on our longer runs. Mm-hmm. Apparently, thanks to uh, the the uh, employee at this local store, she told me, you know why they were doing that? Because they were slamming in your yeah. shoes. And you thought that was just what you did. Yeah. You, I, you thought that was just a thing you yeah. need to work on yeah. and figure out yeah. how to make your body not do that. So I've got some new shoes. But it turns out there was a reason for why you were doing They're it. They're awesome shoes. We'll show them to you uh, next They're time. They're the same shoes I have. Yeah, it's we got same, fit in the same shoes. Yeah, we have Brooks Glycerin. We're Twinkies. Brooks Glycerin, <laughs> yeah. different color though. Different color. Yours are perfectly colored for wine. They're wine colored. <laughs> this next year is going to be great. I have to make sure I buy some before they phase yeah. them out. <laughs> so here's the deal. Here's the other thing. Uh, we need a really good mm. proof of time. We would for, like to have a really yeah, good proof of yeah. time. We're hoping for the fastest proof of time we've run mm-hmm. so far. Yeah. Uh, so uh, a week from now, approximately, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. we're going to run a local 10K. Mm-hmm. It is a Mardi Gras 10K, and we'll report back to you on our next installment, hoping that we get a better proof of time, yeah. which hopefully <laughs> will get us a better corral. Better corral. <laughs> so those are our plans so yeah. far for, uh, for so this year. So we're 38 weeks away. Mm-hmm. Um. We're excited. Yeah. Uh, we're also we're also starting a new uh, uh, weightlifting mm-hmm. uh, workout thanks to our bestie who uh, ran in the marathon uh, mm-hmm. uh, this year as well at uh, Disney World. Mm-hmm. Uh, our bestie put together a uh, workout regimen for us of weightlifting, mm-hmm. and so far we're sore. <laughs> it stinks, but it's great. <laughs> yeah, but it's great because we think it's really going to make us stronger mm-hmm. in ways that's going to help our running. So mm-hmm. we'll report back to you. Uh, this is pretty good stuff. Uh, we're excited. We're hoping that it's you... It's going to be a great 38 weeks. Uh, yeah, we're hoping that you follow along. <laughs> Keep following along. You know, send us some comments. Tell us what you think. Tell us where you are in your training or if you're wanting to train. And uh, let us know if you're going to run. Uh, maybe we'll see you out there. It's exciting. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Remember, always yeah. an adventure with you.